This is Ghost of Yote, which is going to be a PlayStation game, and it is Ghost of Tsushima 2. Ghost of Tsushima was widely praised as an amazing samurai ninja game. So this is the second one, and it just launched. So now we're going to have Ghost of Tsushima 2, which is Ghost of Yote, go head-to-head -head against the woke DEI Assassin's Creed version uh, for, like, the Japanese matchup. So for you guys, I'm going to go over the trailer of the new game. I already did the trailer of the old game, and I actually went over that with Keegan of uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. And we were, like, a little bit puzzled because it's like, okay, so you got the woman ninja, and then you got the giant hulking black guys, the samurai. Feels like that might be a little forced. Um, I had heard, I had heard, and there's an article on this, just to show you that really quick, that some people are freaked out that they found out that the Ghost of Tsushima 2 is woke because the main character is a woman. Now, I don't have a problem with the main character being a woman if it's a good game. So we're going to look at it. We're going to give it a shot. And you guys can tell me, is it pandering bullshit or does it look fire? It ha it's competing directly with Assassin's Creed Shadows now. What's up to all my free thinkers out there? The godless commies over at YouTube decide to demonetize the channel and start deleting videos without giving me a reason. I can't imagine why, so if you want to catch me live, I'm streaming Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time over on Rumble. I also do some gaming streams on a different channel over there. So if you want to see me or you want to support me or you want to connect on social media, all links are in the link tree below. And all announcements will be made in the Freethinkers Rebellion Discord server, so make sure that you join up there. All right, back to the video. All right, I'm going to this mode for this reaction, okay? I feel like this is the move. We're doing it. We are beyond the edge of Japan. People come north to disappear. Okay, now it's said on there that it's a mix of gaming footage and the cinematics from the game, and it's shot on PS5. So it's going to be pretty realistic to what you're going to experience. Uh, I see cringe alert from OJ on uh, which thing? Said, what's next? This Assassin's Creed Sparta starring Gavin Newsom as King Leonidas. They did have uh, Odyssey, which was some Spartans, but it was pretty good. You said AC could have used Himura Kenshin, the main slayer. Honestly, I don't know enough uh, Japanese history and lore to comment, but we will see. We will see how they do here. But you, you are hunting. And now, every rune in here is after you. Still think you're the hunter?
okay, now the this the Ghost of Tsushima original game was widely acclaimed for being just absolutely beautiful. And it looks like they kept with that. The uh, Assassin's Creed version looks like hot garbage. Um, you got, like, the swords sliding through Yusuke's hand as he's spinning it around. Like, it's sloppy. It's sloppy. Um, the actual gameplay is smooth from what I had seen. Now I'm popping in the chat here. Um, games never looked as good on my Atari. Yeah. Well, this is some cinematic, so it's not always. OJ, at a time when your future mothers are trying to be men and not having kids, causing a fertility crisis. True. You should be telling women to be meek and agreeable, not soldiers. Uh, I would never tell my wife to be meek and agreeable, uh, but she has five kids. So we've, we've already met that quota. Um, but as far as the soldiers thing, yeah, I definitely understand where you're coming from. Um, but in a video game setting, I'm okay. I'm a, I'll allow it. I'll allow it as long as it's good. Like you looked at, uh, what was that? That Disney game that came out where the chicks just like one, two punching people out through their, uh, stormtrooper masks. That looked just stupid. Like it, it, you can't even suspend the disbelief. Someone swinging a katana. I could suspend the disbelief if they're able to chop your head off. It's different. Handy says, is it a Jeff thing to have five kids? Do you have five kids too? Then if so, then yeah. It looks anime, too anime, rather play realistic games that are one player, says the guy who plays Fortnite, LOL. Talking about me? I do play Fortnite. I haven't played Ghost of Tsushima. I have Xbox, I'm not even there. Four boys, one girl. Wow, okay. I have three girls, two boys. Was cool. Okay. Okay. You win. You win. They, they showed gameplay for like three seconds and it was already better. Leave a like on that. Okay, listen. Listen, guys. Yeah, the wolf the wolf didn't crush it for me, but it gave me the uh the idea, maybe wrongfully that they team up and then you have like the pet wolf that fights with you, which would be cool. I, I like that in games. A little bit of that. Um, it, it didn't, I mean, it didn't look crazy. It looked like a Japanese game they were trying to, to push. And unironically, it looks like they tried to make it good and they also have the DEI checkbox of it being a woman female character. So, for Ubisoft competing directly, literally directly. Ubisoft has Yusuke, the hulking black uh, fake samurai, because he wasn't, he was a retainer. He was basically a water boy for the samurai. Um, and so he is being glorified into a, you know, just epic brawling tank who attacks and destroys legions of well-trained samurai in the game. The Japanese don't really like that. And then you have the, the woman main character as well. Uh, Nao, is it Nao? Now, Tell me in the chat. I forgot. Um, and so some people are, like, upset that it's a female because they feel like it should be, you know, like a traditional ninja male who's in combat all the time. So it is what it is. But you have both elements of that. On this side, you still have a female 
So it's not like, oh, well, they're just bigots that hate women. I have a feeling this game is going to be a lot better generally than the other because they're going to focus on making it a good game. Yes, it's a woman. They didn't make her all weird proportions. They didn't give her a flat chest and a wide face and, and man hands. It's just, it's a woman and she kicks ass with a sword. That's been done before and it's been successful before. I think they might be able to pull it off. So we will see. We will see what happens. If you love women, you wouldn't want them to fight. Yeah, I mean, obviously you don't really want anyone to fight. Uh, and I wouldn't advise for women to be fighting. Uh, but at the same time, I would want them to be able to take care of themselves. I wouldn't be like, oh, no, don't touch that gun. Don't learn how to shoot because only the men should fight for you. It's like, ah, I'm not, I'm not that old school. Uh, I do agree, though. If you're going to move, I used to make this joke because I used to help people move all the time. And I'd say, you know, lots of people are feminist until it's time to move. Then you call the biggest, strongest men that you know to come help you. I used to get called all the time to help people move. I'm 6'4". Fucking carrying couches and fridges and shit all the time for people. I didn't call the scrawny uh, art major who thinks that she's as strong and fast as all the guys because they needed to move. Like they actually had to achieve a goal. So they're like, ah, sorry. We're actually going to use our head on this one. No, thank you.